Well, we're almost a month away from the mayoral election, and we're joined by State Representative LaShawn Ford. He was born in Cabrini Green and raised in the Austin and Inglewood communities. He is one of 14 candidates running for mayor. Hello and welcome. Hello, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be on the show finally. Yes, <laughs> we're chatting with us. Yes. He told me that he watches at home, you guys, yes. so we oh, are geez. glad that you're yes. here. Oh, yes. very cool. Okay, so you're trying to leave Springfield and now bring it on home. State Representative, now you want to be mayor of Chicago, why? You know, it's the right time. I think Chicago is at the point where we have to have a new leader that understands that we have to destroy the same old machine politics that's driving all of us into poverty. Chicago's machine politics has gone on for too long. In the news recently, you see the Tony Pretwinkle, you see Daly trying to come back to the city to drain the the, um, the um, finances of this city, you know, the family, the Daly family has taken so much from this city over the years. We can't allow that to happen. So let's talk about uh, what's been in recent news. Alderman Ed Burke facing corruption charges and um, Alderman Solis ended up wearing a wire. We found that out yesterday. Chicago is known nationally for its politics. I've lived in other places around the country and Chicago is Spain infamous, we can say, for their politics and the corruption that happens here. Um, are you for term limits and do you think that'll help solve the problem? What do you think will help solve it? You know, I'm for term limits and I'm also for giving the voters the right to recall legislators mm -hmm. and um, the mayor. I proposed legislation to give the voters the right to recall the mayor of the city of Chicago and we're going to look to expand that to aldermen as well because voters must have the ability to um, take control of their government. Mm -hmm. One thing I know that's really important to you is mental health and what kind of things do you plan to do to build up um, support for people that need that? So mental health is critical you know especially with substance use disorder what we have to do is make sure our police departments have you know wraparound services. Police are put in a situation where when they arrest people, many of the arrests are due to mental health, substance use disorder. So our police departments have to have resources in there so that when the police bring someone in, you know, if they're to go to Cook County Jail, they should go. But if they're having trouble with mental health, behavioral health issues, they should be sent to treatment. And so what we know in Chicago, we have a lot of substance use disorder. We have a lot of people with mental health problems. And we have to make sure everyone in the city of Chicago is connected to health care. LaShawn, I know we're, our time's limited here, so I want to get through this as quickly as possible. A lot of things important to Chicagoans, and there's no real ranking. For me, there's a lot of things that are important. But one, as a homeowner, I look at what I'm paying in my mortgage, and that has increased infinitely, more than I'm comfortable sharing here mm -hmm. than as it was a year ago. It seems like it's only increasing. What will you do to help out for the homeowners out there? They're like, simply, I can't live in the city at this rate if it continues on. Yeah, what you have probably is the property taxes that constantly rise. So we have to make sure that we work with Springfield. We have to work with the new assessor to make sure that we um, make the property tax um, system fairer. Because if we don't do that, we're gonna continue to see the exodus of people leaving the city, going to the suburbs, going to different um, states, and we're gonna see the increase in foreclosures. Yeah. So we will work with the banks, we will work with um, all of the- Because you have that real estate license, so you have I that have background. That. For over 20 years, I've been doing real estate, helping people um, own in Chicago and in Illinois. So you actually have six years teaching experience, right? Yes. You taught history. Yes, I taught one history. One of my CPS. favorite subjects. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But don't quiz me. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was just hoping you didn't quiz me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. But uh, let's actually turn it back to the teachers. We have thousands of teachers here in Chicago. And uh, in the past, in the past recent years, we'll say, the relationship between the mayor, the school board, it's definitely been tense. Do you feel like you'll be able to bring that relationship together? Or understand the teachers since you were sitting in their role? Oh, of course. That was one of the reasons why I ran for office, because I knew that in Springfield there were not um, teachers that were making decisions for teachers. So we have to make sure we eliminate that appointed school board that the mayor has total control over. It's a $7.5 billion a year budget that he controls. And what we see is corruption in that process contracts being given to friends and cronies. We have to destroy that cronyism in the city of Chicago. So we go to an, a fully elected school board where mm. people from all over the city um, could run for 
the um, school board so that we could make sure every community has representation and they could fight for funding for their um, neighborhood schools. Okay, LaShawn Ford, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank and you it's so a jam. Much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the Chicago mayoral election, it is February 26th. We have interviewed a number of other mayoral candidates. Make sure you follow us on social media and at the jamtvshow.com. You can see all the interviews. We're uh, trying to help the voters stay informed.